ABC 9 investigates a local hospital still in a tough spot. After four days, Liberty Hospital is still dealing with an apparent cyber attack. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chris Ketz. And I'm Laura Moritz. A criminal enterprise is taking credit for the outage. KBC 9's Andy Alcock is outside the campus getting answers from an expert in this field. The hospital is now in its fourth day of computer system issues and patients are feeling the impact. Hal Whitworth tells us he was one of just two appointments to have a CAT scan at Liberty Hospital Friday. The first time he showed up, the hospital couldn't pull up his information. So he went home and had his doctor arrange for his appointment. Now on the way here, we said, thank God we live close. <laughs> so it wasn't that big a deal. Liberty Hospital's computer systems first had problems Tuesday. That same day, a criminal enterprise called Inc. Ransom sent notice to the hospital claiming responsibility for it. The crooks threatened exposure of sensitive information if the hospital didn't contact them within 72 hours. There is a lot of money in ransomware and some of that money comes from hospitals. They are in very obvious targets. Brett Callow, a ransomware threat expert for a New Zealand-based cybersecurity company called MCSoft, says hospitals are targeted because they have to provide services. That means the bad actors think they are likely to pay. Liberty Hospital is far from alone. On Thursday, the University of Kansas Health System St. Francis campus announced its online patient portal was mostly restored after a ransomware attack last month. It's taken that hospital weeks to get to that point. The world is upside down right now, and I, I you know, don't know what to make of it. A hospital spokeswoman is neither confirming nor denying the facility has been victimized by a ransomware attack. At Liberty Hospital, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News. Callow says in the first half of this year, roughly half a billion dollars was paid after cyber attacks across the globe.